Hello, you two. So, this is the fourth episode of Tron, which is called Blackout. Now, in this one, it's pretty much, there's been blackout going on, and Tron's kind of curious as to why, because blackouts are a big problem. I guess that they can be annoying. So... Now he's going to go find out why it turns out that there's this huge mis that there's this huge machine that Tesla is trying to power by using up their energy. And it's a giant bomb that he planted under the city. To kill everyone. You know, he's really gonna get a lot of support from the people this way. Yeah, I'll just kill people. No one's gonna question this. So It'll be fine. Like, come on. You're planting a bomb there. There are even some people racing down underneath in these tunnels, and yet... You're still putting a bomb. And you're trying to still be, like, a good guy through the people's eyes. How is that gonna work? I mean, really. How is this going to work? Why did he why did he just come up with the idea of saying, Yeah, you know, putting a giant bomb under the city will definitely get them to like me. It's gonna work out perfectly. And of course while he's doing this, like I said a little bit ago, there is a race going on. The Argon City race is going on, of course, in this exact tunnel. Because why not? And now, Tron has to stop the bomb, while also not interfering with the race, I guess? Even though he exactly interferes with the race, so I don't really get what's the problem here. So, so pretty much what goes on in this episode, there's not too much. It's just, Tron stops this bomb by not stopping it, it really would have done damage that way. Really just it's underneath the city but it does nothing, so kinda lucky about that. Think far if it did do something. Then this whole entire city would be gone and Tron would have done nothing about it. He would have just been there when the bomb went off. Why did he even care about this if no one was there? I mean, all he had to do was get there before the race starts. He could have gone in there as Beck and then put on the renegade disc, covered up his face, gone in there, warned everyone about the bomb, and then they could have all left seeing as this bomb does not do enough damage to harm anyone. I'm sorry, this is a really, this is like, this is the main plot point of this episode, yet they completely ignore the easiest way that they could have done this. And then after that, he steals Zed's bike that he's been working on for a while. This is important. No, really. They treat this as it's important. Oh my god. I'm sorry for this lighting. But, um, they really do treat this as it's important. Like, oh no, his bike is stolen. There's no way he can get another. And guess what? Now, um, some of the people in Tesla's army are starting this, this anti-renegade, um, or little group, so a little group to hunt down the renegade, and now they're asking Zed if he would like to join. His main motivation, he just, he took his bike. great motivation there. So, yeah, there's not too much that's going on here. Beck's still wo a wooden character without anything really going on with him. Although, um, his home life is, his home life is getting in the way of him being Tron. If that's something that's important now, apparently. Um, 
But I will say the opening to this show was to this episode was pretty good. Um, what we actually do see is apparently Beck almost went dark side here at the beginning because he because he stupidly takes off um his helmet because his face got itchy. Great reasoning again, and now. It's like a train simula simulation, and one of the programs in the train simulation is saying, Hey, I know you. I killed your friend. You remember that? Yeah, and you have a disc. You can kill me right now, and I'm, and I'm unable to move because you have me tied up. I guess I'll point out that I killed your friend just to make you even more angry. And now he was about ready to kill him. Um, our hero, he kills because a man was given orders? Logic, I guess? So, yeah, there's not too much that goes on in this one. Med has, I mean, Zed had really dumb motivation for going after the renegade. I mean, I can understand the motivation for almost getting put in the game because of the Renegade, but him stealing your bike is your big motivator? Why? Why is him stealing your bike your big motivator here? Your big motivator should be, he almost got you in the game, where you could have died. That's more important than, oh no, he took my bike. And why didn't Beck just give him his bike back? That makes no sense. And like, the bike is still perfectly intact when he leaves. So, Beck was just kind of rude and didn't give him his bike back. And they're really good friends, too. Why didn't he give him his bike? That's never explained, really. It's just... He didn't give him his bike back because he likes to steal. Again, our great hero. So, yeah, not too much going on. Um, but the next episode looks pretty promising. Um, so, let me know if you guys want me to talk about it or not. If you still enjoy these. Because I still don't know. Um, yeah. Bye.